Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Wouter on the left and Columbus on the right. This is a match in the Kyber Cosmic League brought to you by Highbridge Designs. This is the top pod. So some of the best players from the first three weeks of the league. The best players even. Uh, battling it out here. We've got Vader, Grand Inquisitor, and Echo versus Rack, Fifth Brother, and Countdown. Two very different Imperialists. So Countdown with Ruthless and Hull Upgrade. Ruthless, great to have in a list with Rack. Bouncing damage into Rack to modify your dice. Peak memes. Darth Vader, Ruthless, Proximity Mind, Dauntless, Rack. 101 points. And then a homing missile, passive sensor, fifth brother. Nice and efficient. Oh, both of these players are in Dan's pod. Woo! So Echo taking the place of Whisper here in what used to be the uh, the world's winning list. Got that nice funky barrel roll. Who's got player one? Because we do have overlap on the fours. I guess the five for Grand Inquisitor and Rack. Countdown and Fifth Brother. Echo at four. Countdown and Echo move. Countdown and Fifth Brother move before Echo, so that tells us player on the right is player one. Here comes the D cloak. Going to the right. Ooh. Did not see that direction coming. We had too many games of HMP droids in a row. I uh, don't expect the two-bank to go that direction. Ooh, there's a two-bank. And a roll to get Countdown on the other side of that rock. Fifth brother. Four straight into focus. Interesting looking force tokens out there. Echo, one bank barrel roll. One straight out of rack. Now focus, and that looks like it's it for the big boy. Grand Inquisitor. Five straight. Vader with a five straight of his own. Don't think he wants to do afterburners this early. Just goes for the roll. That should bring us back to dials. I think both of these players lost their first game of this current pod. We're in week five, so the second week of the second pod. Players looking to stay alive here. The, the arc is currently facing forward and backwards from Rack, which 
I would kind of think he wants to strafe. Let Countdown and Fifth Brother stay in, stay out front. Cloak there on Echo. Vader's blocking a little bit of that two bank right goodness. Nope. Completely wrong about that. Look at that decloak. You think he practiced that? Rocker says, I'm really glad FFG decided to be proactive on the rules reference and clarify concerns that are a month or two ahead of time. I'm just glad to get that Vader crew ruling. Been waiting on that forever. Also, there's a Dooku reroll question in there that was answered. I may have actually submitted that one. I can't remember. But that came up on stream with Atreides. So there's lots of good stuff in there. Three bank from Rack. Rotate that arc. Come on, my dude. You know you're going to be flying sideways. There it is. Grand Inquisitor, hard three, probably in range of countdown. That countdown? Yes, not Sabacc. Vader looking for a lock. Doesn't get one, we'll probably spin a force point to roll away from that gas cloud. Yep, nothing for Vader. should be it all right recloak on echo where are you looking to force this engagement fifth brother can hard one ship left if he thinks vader's gonna occupy that position otherwise he needs to bank let's double check but i think yeah no straight maneuver there even if you wanted to go five, I th yeah, he's going over that rock. So I don't think the GI wants to come in. I don't think anybody wants to go into the center there for Wouter. I wouldn't be surprised to see Countdown one bank right and then hard turn so you get that kind of pincer move. I would even do the hard one. One bank to the right hard one. Hmm. 
where do you go with fifth brother? Go pretty fast with with rack. Fifth brother, man, I, I don't know what you do with him. He just feels so vulnerable to Vader coming in. Echo could left bank boot, left bank decloak, and then slow roll into the middle to face off with fifth brother. Hmm. That's a tough one. Fifth brother, YOLO 5 over the rock. I think then you're just taking shots from Grand Inquisitor. I mean, it's just one. Maybe you're fine with that. Shaka, keep your food talk out of this stream chat. I don't care if it's time to make a cream sickle with orange juice, frozen strawberries, mangoes, pineapples, fresh banana, and vanilla protein powder. I don't care. Take that kind of talk into some other stream. There's the one bank and the two hard. I was hoping for that. I, yeah. You're in danger of a one hard from the Grand Inquisitor. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Very good barrel roll there. The decloak from Echo goes right and backwards, so I'm wondering one hard or three bank. Dan says close the bets. Alright, guys. You heard it there. Get your bets in. Spike Spiegel in the chat. Getting that bet in. Ooh, the one bank from Echo fits right beside Vader. Oh, we see Fifth Brother going the other way around the rock. That could be disastrous. Given that maneuver, that might change my bet. Rack. You a two straight? Oh man, I thought he would go much faster than that. Oh no, there's the hard one. Barrel roll focus for Grand Inquisitor. He's thinking about not linking it. Keeping that dial open. I think he's out of arc, yeah. Agreed. Have you seen Vader's dial yet? Nope. Is Grand Inquisitor still thinking about linking? Negative. Three bank from Vader. Ooh, he may not be able to get a shot. Does he already have arc? No. He does not have arc now, and he can't fit the roll right to get a shot on fifth brother probably doesn't want to stay where he's at he 
I mean, he should try to roll left, but he can't. This is just a bad place to be. I'm going to reach for a lock. can't you can't burn her onto a rock tries to roll left doesn't fit <laughs> he doesn't have a backwards tail slide rocker cracker battle bro says what is this no lot g or hmp i know this is a competitive match, and I don't think these players are comfortable with the new ships yet. Oh, you're thinking how you could burn her off. Yeah, not on. Gotcha. So down to force point. After that attempted barrel roll, no shots for Vader. And no shots for Rack. Grand Inquisitor, range one. Three dice, two force points. We'll spend one for hit crit. Oh, let me uh, let me actually close the bets. It only had a minute left on the timer. Uh, one evade takes the crit. Yikes! Oh, he takes the uh, the stress, so that he only takes one face down damage card. Countdown. You're so good. I'm glad you came down in points. I'm glad Duchess is not the cheapest striker anymore. Named striker. Looks like Fifth Brother didn't have anything. So Echo. Passive sensors going off. 3v4 into Fifth Brother. Spins the lock. And fifth brother for hit crit. Merc! Six months in a row, 12 total. It, It's almost a year anniversary. One year, baby. That's right. Much appreciated. So no damage into fifth brother. Nope. Back to Dials. Vader's going to have an interesting time dealing with that rock. <laughs> Vagabond bounty win. Got a stress on countdown. That means no ailerons. Decent blues there. One and two bank. One, two, and three forward. I might consider like a two forward roll. Does that save you from a one hard from the Grand Inquisitor? Got to worry about rack. Hmm. Is he going to bank and shoot into the middle? He'll probably bank no matter what, but is he going to rotate that arc is the question. Now rack has to move first, so he won't have the information about what Grand Inquisitor is doing.
probable decloak right from Echo. Fifth Brother's not got the safest maneuver either. I mean, he, he's stressed, so he wants to do a one hard. I think that clips the gas. That's got to, right? I mean, if he knows he's going to hit it, he can just five straight. Find a better approach later. So wondering if Vader, if he's already resigned himself to the fate of going over that rock, does he three talon right to get in behind fifth brother? I think that just means he's got to deal with the gas cloud next turn. He could burners off of it, but I think the only way he could burner would be ship right. That doesn't seem great either. For those not in the know, people from Minnesota will put anything in Jello and call it salad. Anything. Hold on now. This food talk has gone too far. All right, here's the decloak from Echo. Ooh, maybe a hard one. If you YOLO five straight, are you safe from the one hard? I don't know. Did the three straight. Ooh, no, no, no. You got to fully commit, my guy. Oh, no. Is the three straight the fastest blue? Yeah, okay. I get it. Well, that could hurt. Tried to roll left with Echo. Is still in arc, though. Rack. Hard two coming into the middle. Takes a lock on the Grand Inquisitor. He does a hard one. Oh, no. What did, what did Countdown do? He did a one bank and a focus. Oh, no, no. Barrel roll, linked action, focus from Grand Inquisitor. There's the, uh, there's the Talon. Now that one puts him on the gas cloud. Does he want to take the gas now or next turn? I would go next turn because Rack does have you in arc. He's going to try the middle. There's the forward. Adjusting backwards. If 
he did backwards twice. I would have tried middle. Get you a little bit more room for a safe maneuver next turn. Takes the stress, gonna roll for the rock. Takes the damage. Vader. Range two obstructed. Two blanks and a hit turns the hit into a crit with advanced target computer. And I imagine he spins that lock. Just does the fire control for hit crit. Okay. <laughs> Mike. I already talked about the Vader crew ruling. Here's two hits. Three hits. <laughs> That's the Grand Inquisitor into Countdown. No, that's Rack in... Yeah, that's Rack into Grand Inquisitor. Three evades. Nada. Hey, three natties. One evade and a focus. Spins the focus. Takes nothing. Countdown. Uh, four, five. He's down to three. Got a hull upgrade. Here's fifth brother. One hit. Does he spend all of his force mods? Nope. All right. Echo shot back. Echo went for the barrel roll, so it does not have a focus mod. Hit crit crit. Oh, hidden three crits because of fifth brother. There's the focus mod, Scott. Takes a shield on fifth brother, but that could have been so much worse. Rocker says I would have taken the stress there. Oh, on countdown so that you don't have to ail around. That's smart. I think last turn he should have done the one forward. Double check they have that. Yeah. The one forward roll. Recloak on Echo. Going back to dials. So Rack's going to go over that gas cloud. He had a good shot on Grand Inquisitor. Unfortunately, it was range three. Didn't hit anything.
It's really just a question of how fast Rack wants to go, right? Because I think, I would imagine you want to go pretty fast. Because if you're sitting back here and your turrets left and right, it just feels like Grand Inquisitor and Vader are going to get in front of you. You could bank sort of broadside stuff. Countdown's got three hole left. So you could just stare down Grand Inquisitor with a K-turn or sloop. Let's take a look at that. You got a two sloop and a one K. You could one bank right. Two sloop and end up at the bottom of the board looking up. Is that good? Fifth brother is not stressed anymore. That whole dial is open to him. Vader going over that gas cloud. Yeah, hard turn could save him from that, but I think he wants to pursue Fifth Brother. Gets him further away from Rack. We've already got the lock. Yeah, and I think that's what that decloak tells us. Countdown. One bank left and a one forward. Three hard. A boost link. There it is. Linked action. Boost focus. Echo with the hard turn right. And recloaks. Okay. Doesn't see a shot. Not going to chance it. Rack. Goes over the gas. If he bumps into... Oh, he doesn't! If he bumped into Countdown, he could have taken a, a, a an action with Dauntless. But he's just... A hair away from countdown. I think we'll see a roll. Does that get you out? I don't think a roll does. It just takes an evade. Smart. Vader, three straight. He's going to afterburner boost. Takes the strain, but there's nothing there to capitalize on it. Spins a force point to roll left and forward. I guess he's trying to get further and further away from Rack. Uh, oh, Countdown's over there, too. So down to one force point after the focus. Evader crew. Gonna get rid of that evade token on Grand Inquisitor. Vader, 4v3 into 5th Brother. Need one damage for half. Damn. 
double modded. Spins the focus. Guaranteed to get half. One of a two eyeballs. He's going to spend that focus token. Take one on the shields. Does give up those 25 points. And that ma that makes it 25 to 0. Wolves are on top. Rack. Got a 3v4 into Echo, or a 3v3 in a Grand Inquisitor. You can focus fire into Echo, but... Oh, well, doesn't matter. Doesn't have any tokens. Spent his force point at the start of engagement. Grand Inquisitor. Does not care to start working on rack, so he's going to shoot countdown. I mean, I wouldn't spend the second force point there. You know he's just going to take the one, especially with the crit out there. That is half points, though. Now it's 50 to 0. Countdown. Only shot he's got. Ooh! 3v4. Gets three hits naturally onto Echo. Echo, spin the fifth brother force point. What? Oh, he's already cloaked, so he doesn't care. Thirty-six minutes. Fifty to zero. you most likely to find points <laughs> Vader took a shield from the rock yeah no uh, no other damage has been done to Wooter yet fifth brother's been on the back foot running away same with countdown this baffle says is there another game after this absolutely Probably just one, though. We'll see. Strained Vader. Can't hard turn and get rid of that. Is he worried? Not really much to pursue him. Countdown can't... Aileron, so he's pretty slow.
Hmm. Fifth brother, one hard turn. That's not bad. I mean, Echo. Ooh. Echo, where are you going? I'm gonna turn into Countdown? That one hard's looking even better for fifth brother. Oh man, what if Vader, big brain, three talon roll along the board edge? That's all right. So if, if Vader three talons, afterburner boost, maybe you're not getting hit. Countdown with a two bank and a focus. Now Echo's staring him down. Echo, I, I guess considering whether to do passive. rack moves onto the gas cloud takes a strain big deal grand inquisitor with a one bank is comfortably behind rack rolls away. oh the proximity mines good Good eye there. I had completely forgotten. Vader. Too hard turn. Gonna work on regening those force points. Green Inquisitor's done. All right, here's the Vader into Echo, who gets rid of the Evade token, will not be recloaking. This is not Whisper, cannot get an Evade from hitting. Rack, gonna start us off, Vader's got no shot. Ah, Echo's still cloaked, all right. Two hits. Spins the lock. Oh, did he bump? He must have. Where's the stress? Because I think he bumped and then used Dauntless. To lock Echo. It takes nothing. Oh, Grand Inquisitor didn't have anything? Nope. Countdown. Hit, hit, crit. Into Echo. Who takes a shield. 
There you go. There's the first damage from Kulumbas into Walter. Focus for two. Fifth brother spends both force points to add a crit. Oh, the crit's going through. Fifth brother bides his time and gets half points on Echo. Blinded pilot. Yikes. So that's going to take us 50 to 33. Big round there. There we go. They had the strain out there around the stress. All is right with the world. 27 minutes left in the game. 33 to 50. Let's get fifth brother back a force point. Vader's back to full force. Still has not relieved that strain and probably wants to turn around, so who knows if he will. Man, strategic, dauntless, bumping, so good. Drive over obstacles, you don't care. As long as you smash into a ship, you can take that action. So now 17 points apart. That is very doable. The rest of Echo will be 33 points. Need two damage on Vader for half. That's 38. Unstressed countdown. So now the question is, do you move up towards the top of the board and try and follow Vader? Because he's either doing, I guess he could three hard, three bank, an afterburner. Echo. He cloaks left and backwards. Ooh, countdown. One bank, one hard. Going for the bump. Oh, countdown, you bad man. Fifth brother with the one bank. Would he dare? He's going to reposition, so he's not going to get passive sensors. And I think he's setting up a bump for Rack. Echo does not bump. Did not go for the, the hard one in. Recloaks. Alright, you don't need any bump there. You just do your normal action. Does he want to go for a lock? Yeah. I just want to say, great job from Columbus. Most players who play Rack 
get into this mindset where they need to reinforce every turn. Get that rack ability going off. If nobody's shooting you, take a full mod. If you're not getting shot, if you're not using that defensive buff, then it's like taking a calculate every turn when you can focus. And going for the lock is especially good. Because he's got the Vader Force Point. So if you dodge Vader, if you get far enough away that Vader doesn't trigger, you got double bite shot. GI wants to stay close, it looks like. Give him back a Force Point. Vader. Did go for the Talon. Okay. X-Wing SHG. Thank you for the raid. I didn't get to catch all of that beat the Rab match, but it looked great from what I could see. Cool to see. Cromwell out there using the lot in a three ship list. Definitely want to watch and see how that turned out. Moin. So Talon rolls, pulls Vader forward, still holding on to that strain. Not going to burn her. Oh, does burner. He's going to bring himself into Vader range. He's going to Vader himself. That's going to be range two. And he, it's in the, yeah, the arc is facing left and right on rack. Took a shield on Grand Inquisitor. Okay. Huh. Well, Vader's going to get a shot into Fifth Brother. Peas and Carrots here. Turns the hit into a crit with advanced targeting computer fire control system. It spins his force points. Fifth brother spends his focus, takes the crit. Don't be a direct hit. Clinch, structural. Hmm. Vader's making himself such a tantalizing target. He's strained. He's got one force point. The rack has a modded shot into the Grand Inquisitor. You could take a 3v2 into Vader, or a 4v3 into the Grand Inquisitor. He's going to shoot into Vader. Oh, no! Blank focus, focus. And Vader had held on to that strain for so long, now it's gone. Ugh. GI. Gonna shoot. Into fifth brother, it looks like. Ooh, three hits! One evade, two blanks. That is a dead tie V1. GG well played. RIP. Countdown. Could do a 3v4 into Echo or a 3v3 into Grand Inquisitor.
Gonna go into the Grand Inquisitor. Likes his chances. One hit. Uh, oh. Um, uses Ruthless to get two. Grand Inquisitor spends a focus. Takes nothing. But glad we got to see Ruthless. Eighteen minutes left. Big shot there. Tried to get some damage into Vader. He was so such a juicy target. Three v two with that strain. He only had one force point, but no mods from Rack. Rack still has the target lock on Grand Inquisitor, so that'll come into play later. We lost fifth brother. But he did a big shot into Echo. And that kept Echo running away. Now what are you doing with Rack? I kind of want a hard turn and rotate the arc. Trying to leverage that proximity mine. cloak with echo tried to move right and backwards doesn't fit uh-oh is that gonna be a failed decloak here's what they're trying to do oh no oh no oh no I hope she didn't go straight. I hope she didn't do like a four forward. It's the two sloop. Four straight from Echo off the board. Well, there you have it, folks. Even the players at the top of the ladder in the highest pod in the land can fly their ships off the board. Here's the two hard from Rack. He's going to rotate that turret. He's got a lock on Grand Inquisitor and a force point. Nice little sandwich here for the Grand Inquisitor. Stuck between Countdown and Rack. Now, if there was a, let's just pretend like there was a proximity mine there next turn. Are you confident you can get around it? There's the bump from Vader. Now, imagine if you had Vadered Vader last turn. He'd be down to hull. You could Vader him this turn. 
Oh, he, he refuses to Vader Vader. Why is he so worried about that focus? He wants the Grand Inquisitor to spend the Force Points, I guess. Maybe to deny the range one. Yep. Was it two, now is it one? He's going to spend the lock on that. Then the force point. Literally any other paint. Any other hit or crit. But he wants to hang on to that target lock. Here's a range one from the Grand Inquisitor. Into rack. Down to one shield. Countdown. 3v4. Grand Inquisitor now no longer has defensive mods. Can we see some naturals? Hit crit, not bad. From Countdown. Ruthless! Ruthless! Hit hit crit! Oh, this could be half points on the Grand Inquisitor. It is not. Three natural evades. Man, that looked like such a good shot. I imagine we'll see a proximity mine. Rack and countdown still behind. Vader's above half, so is the Grand Inquisitor. That, oh man, that would have put him over. He's nine points behind. Half of GI gets you 26. Bump and drop the proxy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oof. Yeah, I think Grand Inquisitor's taking that. Three forward from Countdown. Takes a focus. One forward. Dauntless. He's already got a lock. Goes for a focus. Ooh, the hard one is just fine. But right now, he's in Vader range. Down to one force point. Still sandwiched between them. Might go for the boost. I think you got to. There's the boost. I don't think that's out of range. I think you link it to a focus. Just in case. Vader. Oh, goes over the proximity mine. If he rolls any hit or crit, that's half points. Two dice, any hit or crit. And if he doesn't, he's going to regret all those turns where he didn't Vader Vader. 
One hit. There you go. Half points on Vader. And that's going to put Columbus on top. 29 points. 103 to 74. He's going to take a focus. Is he going to have to Because right now, Vader is the only shot that Countdown has. Oh, he's already spent his afterburner charges. Rip. So he has to roll. Let's get him back his force points. Spend one. Vader would have been dead if he had Vadered the Vader twice. I mean, hopefully if... If that had happened and Wooter had seen that, he would have been more defensive with Vader. So maybe the outcome would not be the same. I don't think Countdown has a shot on the Grand Inquisitor. So yeah, I think you, you Vader Vader and you shoot Vader twice. Three v three, two hits. There's no ruthless, no target lock. Two evades. Countdown. Range two. Three v three. Focus for two. Vader three dice. Oh, Blake's out, takes two. Vader is dead. Oh, no. That is huge. Columbus on top, 66 points. Focus fires into Vader. Can't get through on the first shot. But the blank out is real. And now it's up to the Grand Inquisitor to keep the dream alive. 66 points behind. I mean, the rest of Countdown's 25. Half of Rack is 51. So half of Rack and Killing Countdown. That's your way back in. Unfortunately, Killing Countdown, really difficult to do with one ship. You need two turns to do it. So it takes two turns. Two turns to get half of countdown, and then you're going to need three to get half on rack. Two? If you got six damage, yeah, that would be fine. So that's like four more turns. Let's see, it's 12, 16, you need eight. You've done four, so you need four more damage on the rack. Grand Inquisitor, left turn, does not have a shot. We're under five minutes here. Goes for the evade, just needs to live. And I mean, there are maybe two turns left in the game. Spends a force point on the Grand Inquisitor to deny the range one. Here's three dice. Spends the focus for hit, hit, crit. A blank here would be bad. Rolls a blank. Oh, spends a force point and a evade token. Forgot about that evade token. Grand Inquisitor's fine. Is force drained, though.
under four minutes now. Rack, gonna run away with all those points. What do you want to do with Countdown? You don't want to sloop him, because he loses his ability if he's stressed. So you want a hard turn. Are you trying to run? Or are you going to keep battling it out with Grand Inquisitor here in the corner? Take a look at that Grand Inquisitor doll. So you're looking at two sloops and a 4K. You can't fit that 4K. I think you two sloop right. Oh, actually, if you're, <laughs> you got to run with countdown because you, you don't want to be in this corner with aileron still going. Oh, okay. Can he stay on the board with an aileron maneuver? I think he needs to barrel roll. Yeah, he's taking that focus back and he's rolling. He's realized his error. There's the roll to stay safe. One forward from rack. Reinforce the rear. <laughs> Our first reinforces of the game. Last turn and this turn. Love it. That is a good rack player. Yeah, there's the two talent roll from Grand Inquisitor. I imagine a, a one bank left from countdown, maybe a three forward evade. But it doesn't matter. Like he, whatever happens to countdown, take the stress, one damage, stay above um, one hole, stay at one hole. All gravy. Ah, three bank. Okay. There's the hard one. There's the boost focus. Last 30 seconds of the game. Focus for two. Takes one. Now, unfortunately, there's five seconds left, which is not what Columbus wanted. It doesn't really matter, because even if Countdown dies, you can't get half on Rack. But MOV can come into play. do it one more time. Go through the motions. Uh-oh. Grass is blue is a three straight, yeah. For the tie V1. 
depends on if you even want to take an action. May just five forward. Keep that stress. Too hard turn. Takes a focus. I think I would have rolled left and forward. Yeah, because you do not bump. Well, I don't think a barrel roll would have helped you either. crit and that is a dead countdown so that should do it 98 to 140 Columbus wins it congratulations to him thank you to Wouter for playing that'll do it for this match Till next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming, signing off.